Hello and welcome to a video on sequences and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the idea of two different types of sequences which are called arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. So we're going to look at the difference between the two different types of sequences and we're going to come up with some examples of each one. So if we start off with an arithmetic sequence, what this is, is just a sequence that goes up or down by the same amount each time. So if we think about the most obvious example of an arithmetic sequence, well, that's just going to be our counting numbers. So if we list our counting numbers, starting from one, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And if I just put dot, 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 that just means it will go on forever. So you can see with this sequence, each term gets increased by one each time. To go from one to two, we're just adding one. To go from two to three, we're adding one. And then this pattern will just keep repeating forever, each time just adding one. And because we're adding the same amount each time, that's what defines an arithmetic sequence. So another example of an arithmetic sequence, let's say we start at the number six, and then we go nine, and then 12, 15, 18, dot, dot, dot. And you can see with this example, to go from six to nine, I'm adding on three, but also to go from nine to 12, 12 to 15 and 15 to 18, I'm adding on three each time. So we don't need to add on the same amount each time. We could also subtract the same amount each time. So here to go from one term to the next, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting four. To go from five to one, I'm subtracting four. To go from one to negative three, I'm also subtracting four. And likewise for the last two terms. Okay, let's do one more. And this time I'm gonna include fractions just to mix things up a bit. Now, assuming this is an arithmetic sequence, what I'd like you to do is see if you can work out what the next three terms in this sequence are. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video and had a go. So let's have a look at this. Now to go from two to three and a third, it looks like I'm adding on one and one third. Now, because this is an arithmetic sequence, I know that the difference between each term is gonna be the same. So to work out the next term in my sequence, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add on one and one third. Now the next term in my sequence, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add on one and a third. And then finally, last number, I add on another one and a third. So six plus one and a third, that gives me seven and one third. Okay, so now let's look at geometric sequences. Now with a geometric sequence, instead of adding or subtracting the same amount each time, we multiply or divide by the same amount each time. Now this is a geometric sequence because we are multiplying by the same amount each time and we are multiplying by two each time. To go from one to two, we times by two. To go from two to four, we times by two. To go from four to eight, we times by two. And to go from eight to 16, we times by two. Okay, another example. So this time, to go from two to six, I'm multiplying by three. To go from six to 18, multiplying by three. 18 times three, that gives me 54. And 54 times three, that gives me 162. So both these examples, I'm multiplying by the same amount each time. Well, this time, what am I doing each time? Well, it looks like I'm halving the number each time. So you could say half, you could say I'm dividing by two each time, or you could say I'm multiplying by 0.5 each time. Eight times 0.5 gives me four, four times 0.5 gives me two. Now, if I repeat this process, I'm multiplying by 0.5 each time. Okay, let's do a couple more. Now this might look a bit peculiar, but just think about what I'm multiplying by each time. So what am I doing to go from one to negative one? What am I multiplying by? Well, I'm multiplying by negative one. One times negative one gives me negative one. But if we just try that for the next two terms, negative one times negative one, that does give us positive one because two negatives equal a positive. So each time I'm multiplying by negative one. Okay, I'm going to do one more, and just like I did here, I'm going to give you the first two terms, and I'd like you to see if you can work out what the next three terms in the sequence are. Okay, so first of all, what have I done to go from three to negative six? What have I multiplied by? Well, to go from three to six, that would be multiplying by two, but because we're going from a positive number to a negative number, we'll be multiplying by negative two. So I'm going to be multiplying by negative two. So let's do the same thing. Let's multiply by negative two. So negative six times negative two, that gives me positive 12. 
Now, if we do the same thing, I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. Well, 12 times 2 is 24, so it's going to be negative 24. And finally, if we multiply it by negative 2 one last time, 24 times 2 is 48, then we've got two negatives, so that's going to be positive 48. Okay, so hopefully you now know the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequences. Now I've got a little task for you to do. What I'd like you to do is have a look at these six different sequences, and I'd like you to categorise them as either arithmetic or geometric. Off you go. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Now the first one, what do I do to go from one to four? Well, you could say that I'm adding three, and you would be correct. I am adding three to go from one to four. But if I continue that pattern, four plus three, that gives me seven, not 16. So I can't add the same amount each time. So I know it's going to be geometric. Now, what am I multiplying by? Well, one times four gives me four. Four times four, that gives me 16. 16 times four is 64. And 64 times 4 is 256. So this is going to be a geometric sequence. Now the next one, to go from 2 to 12, well I'm adding on 10. And if I continue that, that's going to work. Because 12 plus 10 is 22. Plus 10 gives me 32. Plus 10 gives me 42. So this time, this one's an arithmetic sequence. Now to go from 8 to 32, well the easiest thing I can think of doing is multiplying by 4. But if I do that, 32 times 4, that doesn't give me 56. That's going to give me a much higher number. So it's not going to be geometric. It's going to be arithmetic. So what am I adding to go from 8 to 32? Well, I add on 24. 32 plus 24, that gives me 56. Plus 24 is 80. Plus 24 is 104. So this one is also going to be arithmetic. The next one, to go from 6 to 3. Well, I can subtract 3. If, that, if I do that again... 3 subtract 3 is 0, 0 subtract 3 is negative 3, subtract 3 again, that gives me negative 6. Now the next one, to go from 9 to 3, well I can subtract 6, but that's not going to work here, so I'm going to divide by 3. Divide by 3 gives me 1, divide by 3, divide by 3. So this time that's a geometric, because I'm dividing by the same amount each time. So I'm dividing by 3, or you could think about it as I'm multiplying by a third. Now this last one looks a bit peculiar, but I'm not adding or subtracting anything to go from one term to the next. So it can't be arithmetic because the number is staying the same. So it has to be geometric. So this one's going to be geometric. And just think about what I'm multiplying by to go from one term to the next. And the answer is 1. Remember, whenever we multiply by 1, the number doesn't change. So 5 times 1 is 5. And if I keep multiplying by 1, the number's not going to change. So hopefully this video gave you a nice introduction to sequences and the different types of sequences there are. There are a few other types of sequences that we haven't looked at yet, but these are the ones we're going to start off with. And in particular, we're going to focus on arithmetic sequences in the next few videos. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.